Hey everybody, it's Lynn Pratt. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do something totally different, a poured watercolor. So I have mixed up some cobalt green, some burnt sienna, and some marine blue. Now normally if you do a poured watercolor, you'd have them in a little bottle that you could squirt on or pour on. I don't have those bottles, so I'm simply just going to use my little cups of mixed up paint and some spoons. So I have my image drawn. I have all my brights and whites that I want my first level masked off. And instead of pouring, I'm just going to add just a little bit of my colors with my spoon and let them blend in. I'm going to use a spoon for each color. Let's see if I can not make a total mess of my desk while I do this. I don't know if that's going to be possible. So I've got my cobalt green, my burnt sienna, and then I'm going to use my water mister bottle to really help spread those colors in and help them move around. And then I've got my marine blue as well. So keeping in mind that this is the first level, so I don't want this to get super dark, I'll have the white masked off, and then I'll have this one. And I'll just tilt and move my paper to get those colors to just naturally mix right on my paper. The more you want them to mix, you just add a little bit more water and let all those colors naturally blend together. I am wearing gloves because I'm using cobalt and I want to make sure that I don't get a whole bunch of cobalt all over me, so that's why I have gloves on. Let that mix in those areas, make sure it really gets in between where it's masked off. It's kind of more of an experiment to see how these actual colors mix together. But when they're poured, they really just form such beautiful colors together. Whereas if you would mix them, sometimes you get like more of a mud. But these seem to just blend so much better. So I'll keep adding just a few layers of this. But again, I don't want it to get too dark because this is my, this will be the lightest layer besides the white. So once I get it mixed pretty well with an overall look that I like, I will just let it sit and dry. So here is the first poured wash, pretty much dry. So you can see I kept it really light. So even though there's different colors, I tried to keep the same level of value throughout the painting on this first layer because we're gonna build up with color and layers to add more value. So the next wash will bring it to the next level. So this is what it looks like dried. I'll wait a little bit longer for it to be completely dry before I add my next layer of masking fluid. I've put my second layer of masking down and I am using Holbein's masking fluid and I'm just using this little metal stylus to put it on. I just dip it into my masking fluid and put it on and I can get that nice fine point and I can easily just wipe it off with a paper towel um, and then just keep using it to get that nice detailed edge. Here we go. I have my second layer of masking on and I'm going to re-wet down the background. I've got my trusty little spray bottle here. I probably could use a bigger one if I end up trying this on a larger format. I will definitely need a larger spray bottle, but for what I've got going on now, it works good. All right, 
here we go. We're going to see if we end up with something that looks good or not. So we'll add some of this color. Add a couple different ones in. Of course, I made sure to remix my color so that it didn't settle down too much. I love this marine blue color. It is literally just the most beautiful color. All right, so we've got some in and then we'll just tilt them around. I'm adding my third layer of masking fluid. I'm using a cut Q-tip. I have my masking fluid just in this little jar to have easier access to it. And then I'm just going around my image so that I can carefully go around the edges of the image where I want it. And then the rest I'll spread out with either the other side of a Q-tip or a large brush to really cover the rest of that area that needs to be so that I can put my last darkest layer on. Sorry about all the noise in the background. My kids are doing their homeschool classes, so hopefully you can hear me over that. I have my background masked off. In order to do this, I had my masking fluid. I just put it in a little tub. I just used a cheap white synthetic brush which I used um, my brush cleaner. So I just dip my brush in my brush cleaner with some water and if the soap is on the brush um, and then you dry it off just a little bit on a paper towel and then put the masking fluid on, then you can keep cleaning the brush and you don't have to um, wreck it with the masking fluid. It stays pretty good when you wipe it off in the end. So we'll see how this dries. I'll put on my last layer and then hopefully it will all peel up. All of my masking fluid is on. I have the whole background masked and everything except for the absolute darkest values. So I'm a little nervous about how this is all gonna come off, but we'll see how that works. So I have mixed up another color of royal blue and that I am going to use in this last wash. So um, it's a little bit darker than the marine blue, so I really get to that last darker really darker level that i want to get to so i have everything masked off wet it down and i'm using a brush because i ran out of spoons to just add this in i'm not brushing it on i'm just adding it with the brush because i want to make sure that gets to that super super dark level and the other colors just won't get quite dark enough for what I want. So hopefully this marine blue really does it. The combination of my marine blue and burnt sienna. So it's hard to see where it's going and I'm just hoping at this point that everything else is totally masked because like that, it just spilled right across the background. So we'll see how this works. I still have my plastic under it. Paper towels ready. And just tilt to pour it off. So I think I might have my paint just a little bit thin for this. I might need to mix it up in a bit of a stronger, darker color to really get it dark enough. So I will mix that up a little bit darker and then come back and add a little, another, a little bit more to that layer to really darken it up because I want that to be that super dark level. So I'll just mix a little bit more of my royal blue. I have my last layer in 
to the value that I want it, that much darker value. It's mostly done with the royal blue, uh, but with some of the burnt sienna mixed in really gives it that darkest level. So I'll let that dry and see what it looks like once it's dry and go from there. So here we go, everything is dry and it is the moment of truth. I'll be honest, this is the part that I am most nervous for is getting off the masking fluid and seeing if it peels up my paper more than I want it to. So I did not leave long for this to dry. So we'll see how it comes up and how it looks in the end. I definitely rushed some of the drying times for this. So we'll see if that affected it at all. I really just wanted to do this as like a trial because I really do want to try it really big. But of course, I didn't want to do like a full sheet poured watercolor without trying out the colors and techniques and everything first and seeing how it worked. So I'm most nervous about pulling up the background wash, this background wash of masking fluid. So we'll see how that all comes up, you can see where I pulled it up, how I put the masking fluid on, it did leave like a texture. So we'll see if that's everywhere, if that texture is in the full background as well from putting the masking fluid down. But we'll pull it up, we'll see what happens. My masking fluid mess is off, and this is what it looks like before I do any touch up. So because I put the masking fluid around the edge one way and then spread it on the other side another way, I'll have to look into and play around with that a little bit because I do have a texture from the masking fluid on that background instead of that initial nice even wash that I have. So I'll have to play around with that a little. I'll touch it up a little and we'll go from there. Thanks so much for joining me in pouring a watercolor. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see what you try out. Tag me if you post it. I'd love to see it. Thanks so much. Let's paint.